Hey guys, welcome back to another week of What's for Dinner. My name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food. In my household, there's me, my husband, and our adorable one-year-old little boy. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, I am making some homemade mashed potatoes. So in my pot, I have a two, actually two and a half pounds of uh, potatoes that I have chopped up, drained, um, and it was in salted water. So I just added six tablespoons of softened butter and then I have one cup of heavy whipping cream. And then I'm just gonna mash those up, these up. And also for dinner tonight, I have some fried cabbage. And the fried cabbage, I um, chopped up and cooked about six slices of bacon and then I added my cabbage to it. And then with some of the bacon fat, I'm gonna make some cream gravy. So that's what's starting off. So in this pan, I have some bacon fat and I also have um, a couple of tablespoons of flour. So I'm just waiting for a roux to form. And then once I've got that going, I'm gonna add in a cup and a half of milk. And then I am making some breaded chicken breast. I've got my air fryer going. So I'll be back and show you our plate. Okay, so here's dinner. Here's the cabbage, mashed potatoes and gravy. And then here are the chicken breast fillets. I think I overcooked them a little bit in the air fryer. Um, but here is the bag and these are from Aldi. Um, these are also known as the red bag chicken um, and it's supposed to be really good. We've never tried them before, so this will be our first time trying them out tonight. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, we are having Motor City Pizza Company Pizza. It is their Detroit style deep dish three meat. And we had this once before a while ago and we really liked it a lot. Our go-to deep dish pizza, frozen anyway, used to be DiGiorno. And we still like it, but we actually like this better. The crust is really buttery and really light and um, fluffy, for lack of a better word. And the sauce is really good on this one too. So we definitely prefer this over the DiGiorno deep dish. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight, and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so we are having Asian food for dinner tonight. So let me show you what I used. I used these beef short ribs from Trader Joe's. I tried these for the first time, it's been a few weeks ago, and I made them, um, like fried them up on my um, just stove top. And they were good, but I knew that they would have been better had I grilled them, which is what the directions suggest. And so this time Howard threw them outside on the grill and they are a lot better. They are very tasty. With it, I'm serving some fried rice and I use this seasoning mix all the time. It's my favorite. And then we are also splitting a scallion pancake. Um, we tried this for the first time several weeks ago too, and it was good, but I felt like it needed something. So I made this sauce and I'll make sure to include the recipe in the description box. It is a Korean green onion sauce. Um, and there's just soy sauce, fish oil, uh, sesame seeds, green onions, garlic, and something else that I forget. So I put that on the uh, scallion pancake and then also on the short ribs as well. And then here is the rice. So Asian food is what's for dinner tonight. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, I am trying out a new casserole. It is a chicken cordon bleu casserole. So in my pan, I have um, milk, and um, cream cheese, and then I have some um, dried minced onions that look like this. And I'll make sure to leave the recipe in the description box, of course. To that, I'm going to add some chopped cooked chicken. And I'm also going to add some chopped cooked ham as well. Now, one thing that I did uh, deviate a bit from the recipe is that the author of the recipe used one pound of penne pasta, and I kind of felt like that was a lot of pasta just for Howard and I. So I'm just using half a pound. Everything else I'm leaving exactly the same. I'm just using less pasta. 
So now I'm going to add in two, cu two cups of dried cooked, not dried cooked pasta, two cups of um, penne that I have of course cooked. I'm just stirring that in. And then I'm going to add in some Swiss cheese that I shredded as well. And I'm going to get this all combined. I've got my oven preheated to 350 degrees. I'm gonna put this in an 11 by seven casserole dish, and then I'm gonna to top it with some buttered panko. And I'll be back. Okay, so here is the casserole, and it is very good. Um, another deviation that I made from the recipe is that I cooked this for 30 minutes, and then I broiled it for like three or four minutes just to get the breadcrumbs um, crispy and brown on top. The directions just call, to, call for you to broil it for four minutes, but I wanted mine to cook more in the oven. So anyway, Howard and I tasted it, and it is really very good. You cannot tell that I left out half a pound of pasta. I think it's perfect just as it is. I am serving it with some leftover green beans that I had in my refrigerator, and then some mini croissants from Trader Joe's, and here is what that box looks like. I tried these for the first time, I guess it's been maybe about a month or so ago, and you don't need to thaw them, you can bake them directly from the freezer, which is what I did the first time. This time I actually did let them thaw out before I baked them, and I prefer them thawed um, out better because I feel like it bakes up a little bit better and they're a little bit fluffier. But anyway, this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, I am making my version of shepherd's pie. I've got my oven preheating to 350 degrees. In my skillet, I have cooked one pound of lean ground beef with some chopped onions, and then I seasoned it with this stuff, which I absolutely love. I use it on veggies, meat, you name it, I love it. So I'm using that. And then I have one can of green beans that I have drained. And then I'm adding one can of sweet kernel corn that I have also drained. And then I am adding one can of cream of mushroom soup. Next, I have a two quart casserole dish, and don't worry, the burner is cool. And I'm just going to pour this mixture into my casserole dish. And I'm just going to top it with some leftover homemade mashed potatoes from earlier this week. And next, I'm gonna chop it with an eight ounce block of cheddar cheese that I shredded. And I'm just going to top it with some French fried onions. And by the way, I also um, did heat up my mashed potatoes a little bit just to make it easier to spread. All right, so I'm just gonna pop this in my oven for about 35 minutes or until the cheese is nice and bubbly. Okay, so here is the shepherd's pie. I did end up baking it for half an hour, and here it is. And then I decided to make some hot rolls to go with it. I have had these in my pantry for a while. And I mentioned to you guys, I'm really trying to use up what I have. So I decided to make these really simple uh, directions. And here's the bottom of the rolls. And I, of course, have had these before, but it's been a long time ago. So anyway, this is what we are having for dinner tonight, and we'll see you guys next time.